guys, how's it going? It's Sunday, I've got a day off for once and I'm going to take the little Bath 124 spider into the new forest, take some photos, do a video for you guys but first, before I leave, I've got to go and do something Over here is the rest of our vehicles, my dad's just taken his van out my brother's not really living here anymore so his car's never here my boyfriend's car is always here as so he's practically living with us but guys, this is the car I've been meaning to show you so I'm just going to show you quick, this is my parents' new car it is a Fiat Panda on an 08 plate. They actually bought this quite cheap. And this is what I need to do. My dad's painted the mirrors white. Someone has pushed it in the wrong way. I hope they haven't damaged it because he didn't just painted those. They've got the uh, Panda style of bath stripe fitted. Uh, the back windows have been tinted. So yeah, my dad's actually got some uh, alloys put on this and he's going to paint them white. So we're going to have a blue and white theme going on here. So he's going to pimp this car. I haven't pimped any cars for a while. So this is going to be a first... Uh, car he's going to pimp as he hasn't done that lately so this should be a nice little easy project for him now the panda mirror has been put the right way i hope that hasn't damaged it it's annoying when people do that i've got a, a new hat i love my hats um i'm feeling good the sun's out uh take my mirror out i will put mine in and let's get into the bath one two four and take it for a spin roasting in here the sun is out so let's get this roof down i've now managed to do it whilst i'm sitting in the car she says as she pops it back and uh, I'm going to get the GoPro on once I'm in a new forest, I'll uh, do some driving shots and I'll talk to you a bit more properly then. Actually, I've forgotten my uh, camera tripod. Anyway, we're going to go and get some uh, petrol in the car so I can then drive it. So I'll see you in the new forest. Right, we're just entering a new forest and as always, you have to go under a little uh, bridge. So let's make some noise in this very short, short-lived, noisy bridge. driving around for ages trying to look for a little quiet spot where I can show you the Bath 124 spider um, after driving for about an hour I found a spot which is not where I expected to find a spot and I thought it's going to be in the middle of New Forest instead I'm on the outskirts but it's nice and quiet and here is my Bath 124 spider let's do a walk around and talk spec you click the link above I was only meant to be taking this car out for a drive just to create a video for you guys because I'd never driven a 124 a Bath spider but when I basically uh, returned the keys and went back to the showroom um, I liked it so much that I basically said to the guys um, actually um, is there any possibility of me swapping my bar 595 in for this the bar 124 spider that I've just driven so they sort of thought I was joking at first but I was actually being serious so with that um, I think we sat down there and then with some figures um, and within a few days well within a week basically I ended up swapping part exchange in my bar 595 in for this a bath 124 spider as i just loved it from the video i did for you guys and i just sort of had to have it 
which means for the sales team at my local bath dealership I'm like easy bait they just hand me a car for a few hours I return it and end up buying it and they return it they end up giving the car to me basically so it works this car actually has some cool history it's actually from Scotland and it was owned by someone believe it or not called David Cameron now it's the David Cameron basically this didn't used to be an ex demonstrator car but basically the guy that used to own the car before me, I believe, used to work for a bar. So he basically had this car as like a company car sort of thing. So it was actually on a 2016 plate, but only done 1,500 miles. So yeah, I bought it as a used car, um, but it was like new because it barely done any mileage. So yeah, I had to buy this car there and then really because brand new, this should have been 32,000 because it's top spec. It's got the black heritage pack. It's got Tom Tom sat nav, but instead I ended up paying 22. So it wasn't a case of, oh, I'll save up and um, go and buy it in a few months' time. This was a used car at my local above dealership. 10 grand saving. It's all in a forecourt for 22. So yeah, I had to have it there and then. So that's my excuse. As you would also have noticed from previous videos featuring my Bark 124 Spider, is it is actually an automatic car. I've had autos in the past. Um, never had an automatic sports car. But it does have an automatic gearbox with the, which you can't see at the moment, but it does have flappy paddles. So we've got the touch screen there with uh, Tom Tom built in. We've got the uh, Bose in the seats here, which is great for like today when I've got the roof down, you can still hear the music. Um, some of these cars come with uh, red and black sort of leather. Um, I like this option personally with the all black. Um, so you've also got things like the red door mirrors, you've got the red. Uh, Brembo brakes which again sets off the red contrast at the front you've got the uh, red sort of splitter down the bottom um, so yeah the grey is a little bit of a sort of not a bright colour so if you don't see the grey you do see me come around the corner with the red mirrors things I like about this car I love the styling it is based on the MX-5 this is more of a squarer sort of variant of the MX-5 the lovely headlights which I absolutely love uh, you've got like the halo sort of uh, lights there um, angel eyes I think they call them actually don't they um, you've got so in of the daytime this sort of little angel eyes light up and you've got the little bit in the corner that lights up so you've got a couple of nice little front light options there um, the wheels I prefer a glossy wheel on my barber have matte ones at least when I clean these they actually look shiny because they are an actual shiny paint color the reason why I had to have this particular car is because the model number is, I think I've shown this before, dead on 200. How about that? It's a nice even number. So yeah, I had to have it. So whoever's got 199 or 201, I'd like to know. So yeah, this is my model number. And this is my model number 200. A Bath 124 Spider. The rear, not much red going on, but we have got the Monza quad exhaust system. Um, I might show you the boot actually. Actually, I won't show you the boot because it's actually full of rubbish, but although it's not a very long boot, it is actually quite deep. So for a sort of, well, I was going to say single, I'm not single, but for an individual like me that I'm only the driver of and the owner of the car, if I'm going out and about and I want to do some shopping for myself, it's fine for a one-person owner, if you get what I mean. And into the above 124 Spider. Oh, I've got the steering wheel the wrong way around. Okay, we'll talk about the flap paddles and steering wheel in a minute. But this car has got air conditioning uh, you've got fan settings where you want the air to come out of stop start button which is really cool um, no glove box no door pockets but you do get this rear pocket which again is actually quite big you get a little bit there with uh, the scorpion logo sort of in there you actually get two um, of these sort of things behind each seat as well which I haven't actually opened really uh, so we've got the automatic transition uh, you've got a nice Alcantara feel there so have you on the uh, what's it called handbrake uh, you've got controls here to control the screen so I've got it on mute but it won't let me come out of oh maybe I need to press home so there we go we've got different settings so you can control that by the knob and if you go into music for example it is it's not going to show it because i've got it on mute but you can actually touch the screen as well um so it is nice it's a nice colorful touch screen like so this one has actually got the sat nav in which is really cool um right one thing i will show you and i'll show you a previous clip now is one thing this is a used car but this bit here was broken because um, you've got the heat seat control here USB but anyway this surround bit this main bit of plastic that you see as soon as you walk in the car was broken I put a clip in now so I've just arrived at my local bath dealership because I know this is a used car but this bit of trim 
is well it looks like it's been glued on before and obviously inside a clip inside there is snapped and it's a surround for like the heated seats so that side is fine this side is not so they've ordered me a new bit in from italy which is why i'm here today to get it fitted quickly and over there is my old above 595 competizione and over there is a white one from our aoc dorset which has just been uh part exchanged back to the dealerships he's going for something else and um this one's quite nice in front of me as well blue with black wheels and yellow quite like the blue and yellow on that one the wheels are quite oh they're the petal wheels aren't they that looks really nice that's a nice color combo and it looks like a uh, rivale has also been uh delivered or con another convertible one here so uh yeah but there's me old baby there she is right so here is the finished piece so it's actually they've done that really well it's actually stuck in this time so this whole surround above like the heated uh, seats bits here has been ordered from my local bar dealership from italy to me to my bar 124 spider so thank goodness that bit of trim has been done and they kindly fixed it for me at a bath so these are the dials that you see um so here you have this car's quite specked up again compared to the normal bath 500s my above never had uh cruise control speed limiter this one has this one's got auto lights auto uh wipers rain sensing wipers so it is specked up it's got a full nice leather steering wheel whereas mine one used to be like um part leather park alcantara but i quite like the whole leather surround it hasn't got a flat bottom though but it's still quite good um you've got electric controls for the uh mirrors electric windows of course so yeah this looks quite good and if i actually press some of the buttons to show the screen so the red one in the middle is your rev, rev counter I put a little bit of petrol in earlier, it's been a bit of a cheapskate. So you've got the temperature outside, you've got 59 miles range on the fuel I've got, which isn't a lot. And then that's how many miles I've done. So I've picked up about 1,500 miles on the clock. I've nearly done 3,000. And then here, which I don't like, is your um, speed, um, miles per hour. But I don't like it because it's really hard to read. I usually have to wear glasses the best of times to read. So it's really, in my bar food, so I've got the digital display there lazy i know but yeah to read that you really have to sort of concentrate and try and find where your 30 limit is because most of the roads here are 30 in the uk this above 124 spider is slower than my bath competition previous uh, car the competition used to be 180 this is 170 but really you don't i don't know it's a 10 bhp difference um it's still fast the good thing about this car is it is rear wheel drive so not only do you pull away fast you can sort of be a little bit tail happy so that's good fun Another bonus about this car is it gets so much more looks than the above 595. People, I've had people call it an MX-5, okay. I've had people call it a Porsche, Lotus, a Jaguar. That is one talking point. The other day I was taking photos of this car and this older woman came up to me. She said, oh, what, what's that car? I said, it's a bath. And annoyingly, not many people know what a bath is, but it's a talking point. You sort of say, basically, it's a Fiat, but it's tuned by a bath, blah, blah, blah. It's a sports car. But, um... Even when people do know their cars but don't necessarily know it's in the bath, again, it's a talking point. People come up to you and go, what is that car? So it does get a lot of attention, um, it gets a lot of looks driving up and down the roads, and it also gets people talking to you, which is actually quite nice. Guys, that is my above 124 Spider. I've finally done a half decent walk around for you guys. That's just one minute I'm driving a 595, next minute I'm driving a 124, and you're probably thinking, how the hell did she end up with this, or what's the story behind this? But guys, now you know. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, original plan of driving this through the new forest, get the GoPro on the outside. I actually need a drink or an ice cream because I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. The sun's out, it's getting a bit dry. <laughs> and um, so I need to go and quench my first and uh, get some driving shots for you guys. A bit of me and GoPro is falling off. I've just like uh, scratched the uh, side of it, but the screen seems okay. That's the end of the exterior car shots, I think. Hey guys i've just got back home um so no exterior uh, video footage as i don't want to break the gopro maybe the car needs to be cleaner for the sucker to suck on i don't know what's your uh, gopro sticking on advice um but i hope you enjoyed me basically talking you through the buying process of my above 124 spider and how i ended up owning the car it was a bit too late now but do you think i've made the right choice and swapped my 595 for the 124 what did you prefer I love the colour of my uh, 595, but I like the triple colours that this has. So um, yeah, let me know what one you've, uh, um, but obviously, yeah, I love my uh, 124, my new 
big baby as she is, huge compared to my little 595. You know, thanks for watching this video. Give it a like if you like the car, you like me, you like my videos. Subscribe if you like all of those as well. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram for plenty of above photos. Plus, I'm still putting photos on from Auto Italia last weekend at Brooklyn's. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.